the Constitutional Court holds that this matter is so evidently extraordinary that a departure from ordinary procedures is warranted and is in the interest of justice. Never before has the authority and legitimacy of the Constitutional Court been subjected to the kinds of attacks that Mr. Zuma has elected to launch against it and its members. Never before has the judicial process been so threatened. The Constitutional Court holds that there can be no doubt that Mr. Zuma is in contempt of, of court. To his peril, Mr. Zuma has not presented any evidence to establish a reasonable doubt as to whether his disobedience of the order was willful and malafide. And the extent to which Mr. Zuma has attempted to justify his defiance through public statements is of no relevance. The statements were not formally pleaded, so fall to be disregarded. The Constitutional Court can do nothing but conclude that Mr. Zuma is guilty of the crime of contempt of court. Mr. Zuma is no ordinary litigant. He is the former president of the Republic of South Africa who continues to wield significant political influence and in whom lies a great deal of power to incite others to similarly defy court orders. His actions and any consequences or lack thereof are being closely observed by the public. So if his conduct is met with impunity, he will do significant damage to the rule of law. The unique political position that Mr. Zuma enjoys as the former president constitutes a further exceptional feature of this matter that justifies a punitive sanction. No person enjoys exclusion or exemption from the sovereignty of the laws of the Republic, and Mr. Zuma is no exception. And indeed, it would be antithetical to the value of accountability if those who once held high office are not bound by the law. The Constitutional Court holds that it is disturbing that he who twice saw allegiance to the Republic its laws and the Constitution has sought to ignore, undermine, and in many ways destroy the rule of law altogether. Mr. Zuma's conduct has undoubtedly set an example to the public. So let this cost order follow suit. Let it be known that she or he who abandons all ethical standards in pursuit of a cause does so at their peril and must prepare to meet the award of punitive cost that naturally follows. In the final analysis, the Constitutional Court makes the following order. One, the application for direct access is granted. Two, the Helen Sussman Foundation is admitted as amicus curiae. Three, it is declared that Mr. Jacob Gevei Azuma is guilty of the crime of contempt of court for failure to comply with the order made by this court in Secretary of the Judicial Commission of Inquiry into allegations of state capture, corruption and fraud in the public sector, including organs of state versus Jacob Gevei Azuma. Mr. Jacob for Mr. Jacob Gelehlegisazuma is sentenced to undergo 15 months imprisonment. Five, Mr. Jacob Gelehlegisazuma is ordered to submit himself to the South African police at Nkandla Police Station or Johannesburg Central Police Station within five calendar, calendar days from the date of this order for the station commander or other officer in charge of that police station to ensure that he is immediately de delivered to a correctional center to commence serving the sentence imposed in paragraph four. Six, in the event that Mr. Jacob Gelehlegi Sazuma does not submit himself to the South African police service as required by paragraph five, the minister of police and the national commissioner of the South African Police Service must within three calendar days of the expiry of the period stipulated in paragraph five, 
take all steps that are necessary and permissible in law to ensure that Mr. Jacob Gelehle Gisazuma is delivered to a correctional center in order to commence serving the sentence imposed in paragraph four. Mr. Jacob Gelehle Gisazuma is ordered to pay the cost of the Secretary of the Judicial Commission of Inquiry into allegations of state capture corruption and fraud in the public sector, including organs of state, including the cost of two counsel on an attorney and client scale. 